Touch base, unpack the phrase like a pro. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel where we dive into the fascinating world of English idioms and phrases. Today, we're going to touch base on a very interesting phrase, touch base. Stick with us to understand not just what it means, but how you can use it in your everyday conversations. Let's get started. Let's take a trip back in time to understand where touch base comes from. This phrase has its roots in baseball, where players must touch the bases to score runs. It's a crucial part of the game, much like communication is in our daily lives. Today, we use touch base in a figurative sense, meaning to make contact with someone, usually briefly, to discuss a matter or to update on a situation. In the modern context, touch base has become a staple in business jargon. It means to check in with someone, to ensure that both parties are informed, or to discuss minor details without getting into a lengthy conversation. It's a way to maintain an open line of communication without demanding much time or energy from either side. For instance, you might hear it used in a sentence like, let's touch base next week to discuss the project's progress. This implies a quick update or a brief discussion rather than a deep dive into the subject. Phrases often evolve, and touch base is no exception. You might encounter variations like touch base offline. This means to meet or talk about something not over email or not in a group setting but rather in a more private or direct context. Touching base with you, it's a friendly, less formal way to say that you're checking in or following up on a conversation or task. Remember, using the phrase correctly can make your communication sound more natural and fluent, especially in a business environment. While touch base is common in English-speaking workplaces, it's important to note that idiomatic expressions can sometimes be confusing for non-native speakers. It's good to be mindful of who you're talking to and ensure they understand the phrase. When in doubt, there's no harm in choosing a simpler term like update or check in to convey the same message. And that's a wrap on touch base. We hope this video has helped to clarify this common phrase for you. Remember, Idioms can add color to your language and help you sound more like a native speaker. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to touch base with us in the comments below if you have any questions. Until next time, happy learning!